Right, well, tonight we have eight on your side team coverage of the mess that is leaving travelers very frustrated at Tampa International Airport. So let's begin with Brittany Muller and the mind-boggling baggage backup. Brittany. Josh, good evening. Southwest is blaming operational challenges. Now the federal government is getting involved. They're investigating. Take a look behind me. You could see the bags piling up here at Tampa International Airport. We're seeing several carousels filled with these suitcases. These bags that you're looking at have been here for days. A Christmas nightmare. He's really upset because we were supposed to fly out Christmas Day. I had all his gifts sent up to New York. Rosemary Lynch and her 10-year-old son Corbin returned to TPA on Tuesday to only find out their flight has been canceled yet again. Why did they wait till we got to the gate? To do this to us, now I have to wait for an Uber to come and get me back. I live all the way in Citrus County. Now they're left finding their bags in this mess. Suitcases continue to pile up in Southwest baggage claim. After the airline canceled nearly 3,000 flights Monday, that's roughly 70% of its flights. Another 2,600 canceled on Tuesday, according to FlightAware. Uh, I tried to fly Christmas Eve, got delayed, delayed, canceled, delayed, delayed, canceled, came back on Christmas, delayed, 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 finally got here, but bag didn't come. Southwest says it plans on flying one third of its schedule for the next several days. Now the U.S. Department of Transportation is getting involved. DOT says it's concerned by Southwest unacceptable rate of cancellations and delays and reports of lack of prompt customer service. The department will examine whether cancellations were controllable and if Southwest is complying with its customer service plan. My flight back home is scheduled January 4th. We'll God knows if I'll take off for that. Southwest now has a site online where travelers can go to either rebook or request a refund from the airline. We posted that information along with this story on WFLA.com. Josh? Mm -hmm. Brittany, we've been looking at these bags behind you for a couple days now. Uh, what about the security of having so many bags out in the, in the open? Is somebody keeping an eye on all these bags? Right. It's a little bit more organized today than it was yesterday with all of that mess. And I want to show you now it is roped off police officers, Southwest staff down here in baggage claim. They're checking baggage tags as well as IDs. They're making sure it all matches up so people really can't just come into baggage claim and steal baggage. So it's a good thing monitoring that security down here at Tampa International Airport. Wow. Patience indeed. Brittany Mahler live for us. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.